Hello, Hello. we are, we are the, Johnson the Johnson family, family from, from Warren, Warren, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. We started Team Liam's Unshakable Ninjas after Liam was diagnosed with dystonia three years ago. Last year, Virtual Zoo Day was so much fun, we decided we were going to join you again today. Up next, we are welcoming Lolly Lardpop and Leslie Rudolph to lead us through a fun demonstration of how to make different animals. If you ordered an activity kit, the supplies were included for you to follow along. If you need more time, a recording will be available on the DMRF's YouTube channel for your use. And now it is our pleasure to introduce the one and only Lolly Lardpop. Yay! Let's make something. Hey, are you having fun? I know I am. You know, um, one of the things that I thought it would be fun for us to do is to do some crafts. You know, when I went to, um, I went to a camp and when I was at the camp, there were animals there too. And there was one that was in the woods that, well, <laughs> supposed to go up to it. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's black and white and um, it doesn't necessarily have a delightful perfume. It is a, starts with an S. That's right, it's a skunk. <laughs> it was so much fun. So I thought it would be fun for you to learn how to make a skunk. Les made this one for me and she's going to teach you how to make one. And then I made a skunk out of some things I found um, just around the house. So what do you say? Let's make a skunk. Take it away, Les. Les. Make a skunk, shall we? Yes, make a skunk. First, you just grab a pipe cleaner and then you start looking for the shape of the skunk. Really simple. And then you add more and you kind of twist it around. And then you add more. And the more you twist, the more you can start to form the shape, which is pretty cool. And you'll see that if you just bend and twist and, you know, there's really are no rules at all. Just keep adding more and more and more and pretty soon a skunk is going to show up. And then you can make it 3D. That's right. All you do is add more and more and that makes it thicker. You can even get it to start to stand up. See that and balance it, add another leg. Now you have four legs, you have more pipe cleaners and then add the stripe and voila. <laughs> oh, wait, I see how it works. Oh, <laughs> oh Nora, oh Nora's so cute. Wait. <laughs> There's our skunk. I know, it seems kind of wild, right? Because you can start with a simple little shape like this. Like this. You took a pipe cleaner, you bent it, and remember, if you could draw a stick figure, you could probably do a pipe cleaner. I made a little loop like this. Actually, you can add in a little bit of an ear, like so. And then I added another pipe cleaner. What? Like so. And when you put the pipe cleaners together, you just kind of twist them together or you pinch them together. So here was our shape, right? Here I'm twisting it. You recognize the shape? Like so. And then we have this big long tail that we have for the skunk. And we go like this.
made a skunk out of these these materials. Um, I had some pipe cleaners, and then of course I used a sharpie. This is my skunk. It's super cute. Um, I even drew little feet on the bottom of the toilet paper roll, and that's some shiny tape that I used. That's right there. We had some shiny tape at our home. And then um, I used a little um, toilet paper roll, which you can see that I put the spoon on the inside of the toilet paper roll for the face. And then um, I taped it in there, and then I used Sharpie for, <laughs> I used Sharpie for the, um, the fur. And um, I really think it's so cute. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit of fun. Uh, you can use it as a puppet, is what I did. I just put it on my arm, and I use it, and it's a lot of fun. Ooh, watch out! Pew, pew, pew! I named her Nora, and she's the cutest skunk ever! <laughs> pew! <-hoo. laughs> it sure was fun making a skunk, because those are mammals, and they're super cute, but, um... About, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of in the mood for, say, a reptile, huh? <laughs> huh? What do you say I get Les up here to help us out? Hey, Les! <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. We want to make a reptile. A reptile? Hmm. Let me see. Oh, how about we make a lizard? Huh? Out of a spoon? What do you say? Let's do this. Here we go, a super simple puppet craft, all right? So first of all, you are going to need some scissors, a couple pipe cleaners, some permanent markers, construction paper, um, tape, and of course, a spoon. All right, it's very, very simple. First of all, you take your spoon and we're gonna grab a pipe cleaner and then you take the end right there and you bend it and you make a little foot. And then you bend another, and you make another little foot. And then you make another like little loop and you pinch it. And you have three toes right there. You can make more than three toes if you want. Then you go to the other side and you do the same thing. You bend it and you make two little toes. What I'm doing is making a little loop and then I'm pressing it together and I squeeze it and then I wrap the pipe cleaner around itself. Then I lay it on the spoon and I just wrap it around there to attach it. And you can adjust as you go. And there's your first little set of legs. So we do the same thing with another pipe cleaner. Grab the end, bend it, make little three little toes, loop and twist, bend, pinch together, and then wrap it around and go to the other side for the other foot. Same thing, bend and pinch. Bend around and pinch the ends again. And then you lay it on the back part of the spoon. This sometimes can be tricky because, you know, you can add more pipe cleaners and give them longer legs, but this, these right here are just gonna be a little low to the ground lizards so they can do push-ups. There we go. So, there we have it. Pretty cute. And then you can just adjust it as you go. It's a lot of fun. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is make the tongue. So I grab a little piece of paper. The tongue could be any color you want. I just chose red. And you cut a long skinny tongue out. And then you lay it on the back of the spoon. There you go. Grab some tape. Okay, wait, okay, my piece is way too long, but I'm just gonna use it anyway. <laughs> All right, then you stick the tongue on the back of the spoon. There's no way that tongue is going anywhere. There's a tongue. All right, there we go. Now for the face. Okay, so I'm gonna make this kind of a, I think I'm gonna make this a girl lizard because we already have a, a boy. Just, there you go, they're happy. Then um, you can use whatever colors for the markings. You can make lines or polka dots or crisscrosses or stars. This is a cool thing. You can make whatever design you want. I'm going to add a little bit of orange here just to bring it out. It's a lot of fun. The reason we use permanent markers is so it doesn't rub off. 
So there's kind of fun. I'm going to get some big curly nostrils. Oops, I'm out of the frame. Sorry, there you go. See, curly nostrils, a couple little eyeballs. Where? Let's see. Let's see if we can, ah, I love it. I love it. Where's your friend? Oh, look at them. They're so happy. Oh, see, this is why we use permanent markers. His eyeball came off. Would you like to smell something? Okay, there you go. So there are your two rare spoon lizards. I think they're adorable together, so I've decided that they're in love. There you go. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Two spoon lizards. Really easy, super quick. Make them with your friends. They can dance around. They can like, hey, nice to meet you. Whoa. Hey, let's race. I'm in front of you. Whoa, we're racing. <laughs> there you have it. Two spoon lizards, a very rare breed. But they could be lots of different colors and all kinds of fun things. So enjoy these cool little puppets. <laughs> There's a reptile for you. A spoon lizard. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> ah, let's go reptile. I wish we had more time to spend together because then you can just look around your house and pick up a wooden spoon and <gasps> who knows, that could become a giraffe. Or maybe as you're cleaning, you think, this isn't a sponge, this is really a wolf. And maybe this wolf likes to walk around like this because he's attached to a potato masher. And then it can reach out and hug you with bandana arms. And then you realize this poor little wolf is being chewed on by a little teeny baby alligator. <laughs> That's what I love about art and puppets. You can find them anywhere and create animals and creatures, all kinds of things. So let me see, we made a, an, we made a reptile and we made a mammal, but we still have to a make- A bird and an amphibian. Les, how are we gonna do that? We're running out of time. <gasps> I got it. A flashlight, some cardboard, scissors, and maybe a straw. Okay, we just have to turn the lights down low. Hey there, this is really cool. Watch that wolf. I'm gonna add something to make him come to life. It's light, but look what happens and I shine it, and there all of a sudden becomes this really cool wolf shadow. That's another form of puppetry, and it's also super cool. Remember how I said I was gonna use um, some cereal boxes or some cardboard? Well, I did. I took some cardboard, and it's also nice. You can use folders or something like that, but something nice is thick, and I, cut out the shape of a bird and check it out. Now, if I pull the light away, it's further, the bird is smaller. And as it gets closer, it gets a lot bigger. So there can be birds that are flying through the sky. There can be all kinds of different birds. Like, if you recognize these, a swan, a pelican, let me make them bigger. There we go. A swan, a pelican, a duck, and a baby duck. So those are the birds, but remember, we're supposed to have an amphibian. Pretty cool, right? You can be little, you can make them hop, you can spin them, it's pretty cool. And that is our last quick art project. I hope you had a lot of fun. So again, that is just cardboard, some tape, and I added a little bit of light with a flashlight. <laughs> so much fun. Okay, back to the show.
Lolly again later for our dance party. Stay tuned for more fun at the zoo. Let's, Let's do, do this! this.